Alright, what's going on everybody? It is Boozma19, and today I'm doing something that I have never done before on this channel, and that is just a commentary over a gameplay. Um, not sure what you're watching right now, you're either watching Black Ops 3 or uh, some old school modern warfare, uh, getting ready for that remastered stuff. Uh, but basically here today, I just wrote down a couple of notes on uh, uh, some things that I want to talk about about Infinite Warfare and my thoughts on the reveal and the gameplay that I've seen from it. Uh, sorry if I sound weird, I have a cold and my nose is, my nose is a soft, okay. But basically, first things first, jetpacks, uh, I'm not worried about it. I One of my favorite Call of Duties, uh, most people will disagree with this, but is Advanced Warfare. And I was a I was a fan of the jetpacking in that game and the boosting. Uh, Black Ops Three, I didn't like it as much as Advanced Warfare. Uh, pro I'm probably part of like five percent that liked AW better, but I just I don't know. I just don't know what I think about it. Uh, apparently, the rumor is there's no afterburner, so it's going to be toned down a little more. Uh, try and keep it as much as more towards boots on the ground as they can. But yeah, I mean, other than that, jetpacking is not a huge issue for me. I'm going to play with it because, uh, I mean, I like it. I like Advanced Warfare, and I like Black Ops 3, and hopefully it's just not too slow, I guess. Like, you either you either got to go slow or you got to go fast. You can't just go in between. Like, you got to go boots on the ground completely or you got to go jetpacks. That's just my thoughts. And the graphics of it... Uh, in my opinion, looked very similar to Advanced Warfare, which wasn't the best, but obviously that's being compared to right now. From I'm comparing that to Black Ops 3, as as we would all expect, Black Ops 3, being the newer Call of Duty, is going to obviously have those better graphics, and everything's just going to look nicer. But I just really thought that it would look better than it did when I saw it in the reveal. Uh, maybe I need to watch a little more, uh, and maybe there's some other maps that haven't been revealed that will really show the, it'll just show that the graphics are good, okay, whatever. And there's a couple things here that I wrote down the last few things, it's specialists. I hate specialists. Specialists are one of my least favorite things that, uh, came out in Black Ops 3. Uh, I mean, it's whatever, play with them. I don't like them just because mainly you're getting, essentially you're just getting a free life, I guess. I don't, depending on what you're using, like if you're using like uh, some like tactical type deal, like you're using Glitch or like, what's the other one? Camo, Heat Wave, uh, the, mostly all the, or not necessarily Heat Wave, but there are a lot of the non-lethals that just give you an extra life, rejack, um, and it's just like, you just get them, like, through time, like, it doesn't matter if you get kills or not, like, if the game lasts long enough, you're gonna get it, and then, same, like, same with the lethals, you get war machines for free, uh, just random people in pubs are going 0-16, and and they got a war machine in their hand all of a sudden, bam, they pop out five easy kills, congrats, uh, otherwise, what is there, the purifier, there's like the scythe, whatever, um, I don't know, I just don't think it's necessary, I don't know what it's gonna be like exactly in event or Infinite Warfare, sorry, but I just, I did not like it, I didn't think it, I don't wanna say it didn't blend very well, but it's just kinda like, we, we don't need those, like, you should be able to rely on your gun skill and do the best that you can that way. And let's go with one of, I think it was a specialist. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it was a score streak or a kill streak. But the cheetah, or what, the, the animal th robot thing. Like, what, what is that? that? That's not Call of Duty. That never has been Call of Duty. The only way that animals have ever been in Call of Duty is what? You got a guard dog or something in Ghosts. And then, like, the Black Ops series, you could call in dogs. Like, Black Ops 1 and 2. And World at War, you call in dogs. Like, I don't know. Like, 
to become an animal, though, and get kills with it? Like, I just, I don't see that. It just looks like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't, I really don't know. And one other thing I want to say is health bars. Have you seen that on the gameplay? Like, you just, you're aiming down sight at a guy, and he's just got the health bar right above his head. So you know how many shots you need to put into him. You know when to back off. You know when to challenge. Like, that's, that's Bush League, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't want someone staring at me and then knowing, like, oh, I, I barely touched him. He made me one shot, so I'm going to back off. Or someone made me one shot, and I'm like, but I know that they're also one shot, so I'm going to challenge that because I know I still have that chance. But if I don't know I have that chance, you know, maybe I'm wallbanging some of those shots or not getting the full penetration, but I don't know. Like, and Okay, and that brings me to the next point. This game looks, I don't know if it's the guns too, but it almost looks like Destiny. Like, think about it. Like, Destiny had health bars. They had, like... I don't know, their guns look similar, like, the automatic, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the print reloading or something, where it, like, just makes its own bullets for it, for the gun and whatnot, and that, like, you don't have to reload it if you really don't want to, but you still have the option to, um, I just don't see that as, like, you just, just reload your gun, like, don't reload it for them, like, what's so hard about it, um, but, yeah, Let's see, what else? Yeah, pretty much, I wanted to say, that's just like, this game is like Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 raised a child and that child was Destiny. Like, it started out as just straight up Destiny with that health bar, but Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare gave it that movement system, gave it the Advanced Warfare graphics. Black Ops 3 movement system, Advanced Warfare graphics, that's the trait that each of them gave to Destiny, and then Destiny lost its own and became its parents type of deal, but it kept that health bar and a little bit of look of the guns, I don't know, maybe I'm just a complete idiot and none of that makes any sense, um, but yeah, very excited for Modern Warfare Remastered, actually, very, 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 I, uh, I didn't get a play Call of Duty, or what was it, yeah, why did I just forget, I didn't get to play Modern Warfare very much because I didn't start out Call of Duty. I didn't start playing Call of Duty until I think it was like the last month or two of World at War. Cause yeah, I think I played World at War. Like I played it at my friend's house one time and then it was just a fun game so I got it. And we played together a lot and then I ended up getting Modern Warfare 2. And ever since then that's just I kept buying the game and it's been a great game since. But I really want to play... Uh, Modern Warfare Remastered. I've been playing about Modern Warfare for my Xbox 360 a couple months back, and I just picked it up, started playing it, trying to get used to all the maps, trying to get used to the weapons, and kind of how people play, and getting used to playing slower. Since since Advanced Warfare was my, one of my favorite games, that's the game I played the most, and I've been kind of just I've put like I've been a very fast-paced player, so I'm kind of trying to teach myself to slow it down, and just get used to the old way of boots on the ground. And I'm adjusting pretty well, I think. I'm doing good in my TDMs against trash players, even though I'm also trash. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty much I'm not doing anything special. But, yeah, hopefully Call of Duty... I, I hate saying this, but I hope this isn't the last year. Like, I hope there's a new game next year, Sledgehammer. Or, yeah, it's Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer comes out with a game, hopefully like Advanced Warfare. Sorry, everybody else, but I know everybody else is going to look, be looking for that boots on the ground thing. I think that's what they're ha they'll have to go with, or very close to it, just because, like, they, they still got to sell the game. Like, people are obviously still going to buy it, like, regardless, but you, you're going to get those old customers back, trying to get that nostalgia feel, trying to play what they really did fall in love with with the boots on the ground and all that junk but whatever i've been talking for 10 minutes now gameplay is probably over i'm probably in a second gameplay i don't even know but again thank you all for watching and hopefully i didn't mess up this 
commentary too bad. I've never done this before. So, yeah, hopefully it's not awful. But thank you all for watching. And as always, this has been your Captain Speaking Booth 19. I will see you guys later. Bye.